Hello, this is Kenny Lee Burgess, and I'm doing this video to share a little bit of information. Most of you out there probably don't know this about me, but besides just playing blues guitar, one of my big interests are uh, teaching and practicing Tai Chi Chuan. Tai Chi Chuan was originally a form of martial art in China, but today, people, including myself, do it mainly for therapeutic purposes because it's such a great form of exercise, especially when you get into middle age. Um, and actually this weekend, I was up in Connecticut for a two-day seminar with Master Yang Jun. And he was talking about, you know, beginning Tai Chi and, and some of like the challenges that you face when you're, you're learning something new. And so what I thought on the drive home was a lot of the same situations occur when you're trying to play guitar. So what I thought I would do in this video is, was share some ideas, some strategies to develop the right attitude to approaching guitar so it's successful. So ask yourself this question, why do I want to play guitar? And be realistic about your answer because it's going to set up your long-term goal. So if you answer it and say, you know, I want to play in a band and play professionally, maybe make some money, you better be prepared to put in a lot of effort and a lot of time to realize your goal. And also, you're really going to want to work with a professional teacher so you don't waste a lot of time. Now, on the other side of the coin, you might just want to sit on your couch and play a little guitar, but you want to play better, you know? So there, you might not have to put in so much effort because you're going to do it over a longer period of time. And you might even be able to do it yourself with videotapes and CDs and books. See, now that you have a really clear long-term goal, you can break this up into short-term goals, kind of like lessons. Now, here's something just to keep in mind about setting up your own lessons, so to speak. You need to consider three things. You need to be patient, you need to be disciplined, and you need to be persistent. Now, patience. Understand that you're not going to learn and master something in one sitting. You know, you, you have to realize that it takes time to be good at something. So try to develop an attitude of patience. The next thing would be discipline. Now again, see, if you had a long-term goal and you want to be a professional, you're going to have to be really disciplined, like, like a job almost. You're going to have to really sit down with the guitar every day and practice. So, you know, be prepared for that. Try to work up a positive attitude about sitting down every time with that guitar. Uh, and of course, if your goal is to be more like just for fun and enjoyment, you know, you don't have to be so much disciplined. But just understand that if, if you want to play better, it's important that you keep returning to the guitar on a regular basis. Every day, every other day, twice a week, three times a week. You know, set up kind of a, uh, a routine. And then persistence. What I mean by this is simply that if you're working on, say, uh, a certain rhythm or lick, and when you first do it, it's kind of hard, don't get frustrated. You know, work on it for a while, and then if, you know, you can't get it, put it on the back burner, and then bring it back. And just but keep coming back to it and be persistent and try to reach your short-term goals. Don't have like too much going on at one time. You see, brothers and sisters, what I'm really talking about is the big picture. Because when you study art, you're not only trying to master the external elements. And what I mean by that is, you know, how the music gets in the air, by how you put your fingers on the board, or how the paint gets on the paper, or how you shape the clay but you're also investigating inside. You're learning about yourself. And that's what I really like you to consider. Because ask yourself this question, how many times in your life had you had an intention to do something, but as soon as it got difficult, and I don't even like to use the word difficult, I like to say it gets challenging, you just give up. Yeah, it's too hard, I'll never be good at this. You talk your way out of it. You know, sometimes you want to just make excuses for yourself. So. I'm just going to encourage you, I'm going to encourage you to try to develop the correct spirit, you know, to forge on and understand that sometimes it's going to be great playing your guitar, sometimes it's going to suck, but that's all part of the road. So in closing, let me give you this thought. My uncle's father, he studied of all things the accordion at Juilliard, and he said to me, if you're going to take in any opinions, the ones that you really should make matter are the ones that come from professionals because they're going to give you an, a professional assessment of your abilities. No professional is going to rip you to shreds. Only a critic would rip you to shreds. But they have another motive. They want to sell 
you know, papers or, you know, they want to attract people to read their column. You know, they're not concerned about helping you improve or fix your mistakes. So just keep that in mind, you know, because everybody can give an opinion. But if you have no knowledge of the subject, it's more like taste. Oh, I like it. I don't like it. It doesn't really hold a lot of weight. So try not to get caught up in this, you know, I like it, I don't like it, people like me, people don't like me. Don't worry too much about that because the real thing about real art, I hate to say this, but real artists don't care. They're, they're interested in expressing themselves, an idea, a concept, which is a little different than, say, commercial art, where they'll use a, a song, a jingle, to sell you a product. There, they're trying to, like, suck you in with their song, you know? But So what I'm really trying to say is try to develop the right spirit. Why? Why are you playing the guitar? You're playing the guitar because you enjoy music. You like it. So take your time, you know? Just be patient, be disciplined, be persistent, take little steps, and you'll realize your goal. Just enjoy. Have fun. You know, life is short.